Kia ora Disco Fano. Welcome back to the Back Nine, the Woodhill Exhibition Doubles Match with the Wolf Gang and the Turangi Massive. Yeah, we had a really nice afternoon. It was definitely an odd one. Oh, Wolf. What happened there, bud? We need to practice that one for the next one. <laughs> hey. He's lost the old... Uh, what was what was the old frisbee that he used to play back in the 70s? Man? Oh, the old freestyle. The old freestyle, that's right. Lost touch. All right, here we go, hole 10. Uh, this is a great new hole. Uh, it's been around for a couple of years now, but I still call it a new hole. We got a pitch across the uh, open valley here. Not a lefty friendly one, by the way. Man, that's not a bad shot by Wolf. Yeah, he's over the top. That's all good. Big old hyzer. Yeah, it's a righty hole for sure. Big hyzer will do you good. What are you throwing Hit there? the bank. Uh, throwing a new Raider that on that one. Take the wind out of play. Good stability. Great rip there from Pete. Um, Pete's Valkyrie. He's loving that new disc. That's a beautiful forehand from him. Jarrett's connected on that. That looks perfect. Skip in. Because oh, we're playing two shot doubles, we, we have to take the lefty shots because we used the old drives up in the last two holes. So we're taking their shots. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, that is quite a run there, sir. Yeah, well, I was trying to throw it in. The old man laid it up. I was trying to give it some juice and just a bit left. Pete had a good little bid there as well, giving you, um, but that didn't go too far past, giving you all the opportunity to yeah. see, give yourself a good run. Yeah, mate, I was bloody sizing this one up. And that bush was right in my way. I'm lining up a big Anheuser. Oh, mate. Couldn't couldn't do it any better, to be fair. Yep, and that's how you that's how you keep the card tight. I was very happy with that. Keep it interesting, eh? All way to bring sudden. it back, mate. Even Hades was there to see that one. The old tee box replay, definitely worth it on that shot. One That's back. a beauty. It's a 30 meter little stab. One for the memory bank. All right, we've got a little ace run here, hole number 11. It's not far. It is a little bit uphill. There's a, a nice sort of hyzer putter There's shot. There's a cute little window you got to hit. Yeah, it's right there. Pete's actually laced that beautifully. Yeah, right up the guts. Nice one, mate. That looked real pretty. Jared's got beat down in the wind and hit a stump and rolled backwards. It's definitely a low out of the hand. And I've yanked that a bit. Yeah, we're mincing this hole. This is supposed to be an easy one. It's supposed to be an easy one, but you got to give the lefties a chance. Beautiful shot there from Wolf. Wow. Couldn't, couldn't ask for much better, really, unless it went in, of course. Ooh. Oh, just a bit high left. Unfortunate that it didn't catch that, to be fair. And Jared cleans it up. Luckily, he hit high right. That's the one. Birdie's up. You definitely want to birdie this hole, especially on a doubles. So we've got a double mando here. That's not a far hole, but oh, it can get in your head a little bit. Yep, hole 12, double mando. Pretty easy little gap to hit, but can definitely get in your head. I have missed it 
more than once. I want to fifty bucks for an ice on in either hole. Shocker. <laughs> That's a shocker. <laughs> Early release right into the M. And yeah, I swear I've never done that before. I'm never. pretty sure I heard him say mummy after he hit that M. Oh, the wind just collected that one. Whew. That's all right. Made the Mando though, they'll be taking that shot for sure. All right, let's see what the old boy's got here. Nice little turnover with the Tui. A little bit too turny. Right idea. Alright, I've got to put this one close. T chance to get a stroke on the boys. Go on. Oh, it's oh, oh, close. Oh. Great shot there from Kay. He'll be a pack. He'll be a pack. He'll spot a pig. Bit of late stability. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, and we are well in the woods here, guys. No, it's a difficult little putt from up there on the hill. Plenty of, <laughs> plenty, <laughs> plenty of foliage to fall over. Jeez. Little clean up bird for me. Put us another stroke up. Yeah, Making it in the street, putting pushing it back out to two. Yeah. So hole thirteen. This is probably the tougher of the new new ish holes out the back. Tough little gap to hit straight off the tee. It's a backhand turnover for the righty, or as you can see, I'm going to throw a forehand flip up to. F but if you've got to hit the gap, and that's not it. Yeah, it's easy to do. Great lefty hole. A bit low there from Wolf, but it's right in the middle of the fairway. Can't complain too much. There goes the wind, day. Eh? <laughs> Wasn't Jared's friend on the day. No excuses, though. And he's gone exactly where I went. No good. Early release into the trees. Let's see what the Pete, Pete the lefty, can pull out. Bit high, but it's going to end up in the middle, which isn't. Yeah, it's a good drive from Pete. Yeah, about 15 meters further than where my one was, so we're going to take Pete's drive. Oh, and the wind completely got under the disc and smashed it down the left side of the hill. That almost went in. But then you got the big skip. Yeah. To back round behind that or underneath that pine tree. Here comes the upside down extraordinaire. Set up for a pretty floats easy putt there. Floats it into bullseye, that makes it uh, pretty easy for you, Kane. Give it a bit of a run. Giving it a run. Yeah. Not far off, but yeah, quite a bit. Nah, he's way down the bank, right? Alright, managed to find my disc. Underneath the low ceiling. Well to the back. I was a little bit disappointed when I saw it there, but I just knew I had to run this one. Oh! And mate, honestly, that <laughs> the execution, mate, I'll just I'll call you fucking Jared Lazotte after that one. That little from the knee stab part. Beautiful. Yeah. As you can see, I was not expecting that one to go in. 
And uh, two long distance putts in four holes. I was very happy. I was on fire at the moment. Keeping uh, keeping the pressure on. They needed that one. Bring it back to one in, one in between us. So, making it interesting. Hole 14. Just straight down there. OB over the Stable. fence. Stable. Not a friendly lefty hole. But he's still in bounds. Let's see what I've got. Was that the method there? Yeah, throwing the method mid range. Bit of wind out there, it just turned over a little bit more than I wanted it to, but perfect distance. It's all right, it's, it's nice in and safe. circle's edge. Yeah. Maybe just outside. That fence comes into play really quickly. It does. I've been over it many a time. As a lot of you who are watching have probably been there too. Nice shot there from Pete. Beautiful. He's just outside circle one. Jared's going for his trusty wraith. Highs of the whole way. But flipped up a bit more than you wanted, I'm sure. As you can see, the wind is beating the disc around. Yep. Yeah, I really just wanted it to highs a late. I was expecting it to, but didn't quite get there. Big ups to T Box Media, Media guys. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. You know, do one for the team, the Kiwi team. Let's go. Yep. Keep the disc golf fam. Keep it going. So I was really disappointed in that. <clears throat> I really wanted it. Yeah. And, uh, there was, was like three disappointing putts in a row there, to be yeah, honest. Definitely. And I just had my fingers crossed for my partner here. Just to pull one back. We really need this one. Yeah! Oh, mate. <laughs> Must have been a good feeling for Pete there. That was a beautiful putt, especially in that wind. Congratulations to Pete. And that was me in the background. I was so happy. I knew how important that one was. And as you can see, Wolf's disappointed we lost a stroke on that one. So we're keeping it, keeping it tidy. One stroke in it. This is the last easy hole on the on the back nine of the Reds, really. The last one that you really want to get. Yeah, pretty straightforward, as you can see. Straight up the guts. Ignore those, those uh, fences. They're just put up for overflow parking for the... Woodhull disc off, uh, Woodhull. Oh, the mountain bike park, sorry. Here we go. Mincing my words. Jeez. Good shot there from Jared. Bit early, but still pin high. Circle's edge. Great flip up there from Wolf. Beautiful shot. Yeah, inside the circle. Can't ask for much more than that. I'm throwing the new Takapu here. And she's just straight. Didn't, didn't get any fade. Head hyzer. Head hyzer, but went straight. Air ball. Oh. I'm feeling like we're all hit. Something happened with our brains on this hole, and we all um, had something happen to us. I don't know what it was. Like the wind died off. There's no excuses. Putting should be easy. And we all just had a big brain fade moment. All of a sudden. Yeah. Some disappointing <laughs> action there. <laughs> well, that's golf, eh? Yeah. You'd think at least one out of four would have got a inside the circle putt, but you know. It is what it is. All right, hole 16. This one is a tough one. 
there is a Mando on that big gum tree that you can see there in the middle of the screen. Um, it's really windy, it's really far, and you don't have a big run up on the tee with a low ceiling in front of you. So, plenty going on here. Not bad angle out of the hand from Pete. He just wanted that probably three meters higher. But good roll is in the middle of the fairway there with a clean look at the basket. Yeah, it's a tricky wind on this one. Definitely a better shot for the lefty hyzer. That looks pretty good. Flipped up. Just short of the drop zone there. Very good looking shot from Wolf. Yeah. I'm going for the turnover as well. Same as Jared. It's got to get that height right. Got to play it really wide. But yeah, the. The wind just was doing things to the disc in the air. Yeah. Yes. But not too much trouble for to be had from us. Pete with a beautiful shot there. Yeah. Pushing it up to circle's edge. Is rejected. Pete with the great upshot there. We're taking his shot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you did it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, I missed it too. Oh, I didn't even see the review. Did they ace it? There yeah. was one that one for the um I don't even know what that was for. I think there was another group behind us, and oh, they, okay. uh, they chained out on the on the bar on the near yeah, the basket in the field oh, on number fifteen. <laughs> yeah, we were just discussing the new rule changes. Not allowed to uh, move anything that's dead around July anymore. Discussing the merits of that new rule. Not sure if I agree with it, especially around so the both, gum trees. Both teams left their upshots wanting, and we're all about. Just outside circle one. All oh. of a sudden, we can't we can't put the disc in the basket. Yeah, right when don't uh, make it two holes in a row. That'll be a shocker. He's doing the chicken dance. Oh. Oh. It's all up to me now. What you got there, bud? Yeah, yeah bro. Woo. Beautiful putt. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God, mate. <laughs> Someone had to do something. <laughs> she was looking a bit dire there. Great clean up from Pete. Second bogey. Second the bogey the round though, unfortunate. God damn it. It's not what you want when you're playing doubles, I'll tell you what. Anyway, hole 17. Bit of a 88 meters uphill, but it feels like it's about 110, 120 meters. Yeah, she's and a tough one. There's a low ceiling right there in front of you, and then there's that hill right there as well, so you just gotta get the height right and yeah. I just skied that. Didn't even see where it went. That's how bad it was. You really want to throw a hyzer up that road. Um, yeah. Maybe th two, three meters up from the gravel, around the same height as the hill on the left there. That's the perfect line, but it's just very difficult to do. And the wind really was swirling today. So if you showed any of the underside of the disc to the wind, it did exactly what it did to my disc just there. It just throws it. Catch you later. Yeah, it's tough throwing it uphill because it really exposes the bottom of the disc to the wind. Especially when the wind's just coming straight into your face. 
getting that nose angle which Pete was trying to correct for get that nose angle down but keep the disc up but yeah maybe next time there's always another next time eh? Hey? you can always get it better and get it right next time that's the beauty of the game I guess yeah you gotta take your first shot and that's the beauty of doubles yeah it's not always fair where the golf either Got to practice in the. No, I should be just conditions. going for under the basket, but I'm throwing a, the bottom of the disc into the wind again, and it just <laughs> throws it back straight at me. Was so, that a run, or was that was that a genuine wind lift? Yeah, you're it trying was to get a little a bit tickle? of a run. I should have just thrown it to the base, but and that's a good run from Pete. And all of a sudden, I didn't want any of that. Yeah. Beautiful layup there. Just keep it safe. He knows that we've got to make a decent putt here. The old man lays it up, gives me the chance to run it. And this is further than it looks, guys. This is about 14 meters on a raised basket. So that is not an easy putt at all. And all of a sudden, it's one stroke. Back to one with one to go. Going into the final hole. So we were all, we were all feeling it. Okay, one stroke back. Last hole. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Set it all. All right. And I really like this hole 18. It's a great hole. You kind of want to throw a little bit of a flex backhand for for a right-handed, um, maybe like a mid-range or a putter, and just get it to to just fade back late. There is a little bit of trick on the t uh, on the basket. Um, and yeah, just too much flex out of me. Obviously, too much of that. Something a little bit. Yeah, more there's subtle. a bit of danger. The biggest danger with this hole is obviously not hitting the gap. But if you hit the line, but with too much power, then the basket is on the top of a mound. And if you go long, you are right down the hill. Yep, plenty of so danger. You, so you might feel like your shot was nice and good, like this. got through everything but just too much Anheuser and just carried too long we ended up down the hill all right so right now I'm feeling the pinch I need to get this in to win and I've got a clean look nose up head the height And Pete, oh, Pete, that was beautiful. It was on line. It was looking good. This is honestly the best I've ever we seen. We got super lucky and hit the base of that pine tree. And all we have to do is just get a par to take home the bragging rights for the day. And that's all I'm trying to do there is just lay it up. There's that wind here at hole 18. I don't know if you've played here before, but it's probably the windiest putt on the whole course. Yay. Good. Good win there, bud. You got this, Pete. So shout out to Hates for um, setting up an awesome course at Woodhill. Shout out to Dish Shop for supplying discs and coffee and stuff down just around the corner at the car, in the car park and shout out to Paul for and T-Box Media for the coverage yeah keep, keep uh, subscribing and uh, keep liking all the T-Box um, videos that are coming out we're going to try and bring one out as often as we can that's right and um, yeah anyone that wants to get involved put your hand up get in touch with uh, Paul at T-Box Media I'm sure he'll love to have as many people in there as he can and um, just keep the Auckland scene growing yeah it was a super fun day and if you guys haven't tried it before it's definitely worth having a round of doubles makes it a good fun match makes it a quick match so yeah here we go that's Woodhill gang I think that's one of the first videos we've uh, brought out from there 
so hopefully we'll do another one again soon and um yeah fingers crossed we'll get some new holes out there with uh get bring back the black horse what do you yeah, reckon watch this space new front nine for the blacks auckland disc golf scene hoorah see you at the next one